Welcome to the rat house. Kristen and Jay have my least favorite problem. Oh, we're next to a forest. There's a rat. Big deal. But they're so blasé about it. They're risking their health. Excuse my ignorance. Bubonic play. And their home. Right now, we're underneath the kitchen area. Look at all the droppings that you have here. Can I repair their kitchen and evict the rats? I'm not a rat expert. I'm not a pest expert. But I have an exterminator coming to their house. Surprises are fun. As long as it doesn't involve like dynamiting that wing of the house, we're all good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hello, you two. Hello. Oh, hey, how are uh, you doing? Good, good. This is my friend Peter. I want him to assess what's actually going on here. You've got a park right behind you. You've got a stream running through that park. You've got a lot of tree stumps. You've got wood piles back there. These are great harbor areas for rats. And these rats are going to find their way into your home because there's going to be food in your home. There's going to be potential nesting sites. And roof rats, mm -hmm. they will actually tend to go up into the attic areas or down in the crawl space. And they can climb up a wall as quickly as they can run across the floor. Oh, my god. OK, let's take a look around the outside of the house here. The reason they're getting in is because of openings like this. Oh. And most importantly, take a look at this door. Look at the opening that's underneath this right. door here. So you can see your soffits there. You've got some bug screen up there. That bug screen, I can probably just poke my hand through it, and that's going to be a great access point for rodents. You're going to use these downspouts as runways to climb up and into the soffits, and that's how they're accessing your attic. And once they're inside the attic and the crawl space, that's when they start to infiltrate into the rest of the home. And you've heard them in your wall. And, and definitely behind the couch and the wall. Rats and mice can carry a number of illnesses and diseases. Some of them that you might have heard of include cholera, bubonic plague. Yes. These are bacterial illnesses that are basically started when they urinate and defecate on your food or water sources. Excuse my ignorance. Bubonic plague? Yeah, yeah that, I mean, that's one of the more common ones that yes. people have probably heard about. Hearing an exterminator come in and actually tell you how bad it is, uh, I did not think that it was as bad as it is. Also, one thing to consider, rats don't have bladders, so they're they're urinating everywhere they go. They're going to be all throughout your cupboards, your floor areas, in your crawl space, in your attic, all over. So if that gets in your food, is it guarantee that there is pee, at least, everywhere where these rats are running? We have a bigger problem than we thought we had. Actually, right here in their kitchen, mm -hmm. they have an access point. OK, what do we have here? Oh, this is your compost. Yeah. Yes. So there's yep. going to be lots of odors emanating, which might be an attractant <laughs> to get the rats to actually come up through these cupboards. I have my camera covering that hole, but I didn't see anything come through there. Rats are what we call neophobic, which means anytime something new is in their environment, they're going to be a little bit elusive. By the way, there's actually further holes in between the rest of the cabinet and in behind the dishwasher, and then they've been kidding in here and nibbling away as well. You didn't uh, tell me that part! This is a highway system. Absolutely. Yeah. Now that we know how they're getting into the house and around the rat trap in the kitchen, Peter's going into that crawl space to look for nests. Right. You sure you don't want to come? No, not yet. You let me know if I need to come in there for any reason. Right now, we're underneath the kitchen area. And if I pull this insulation, oh yeah, see? Look at all the droppings that you have here. This is how they're getting up into the kitchen covered area. Does this look typical to you? Well, it's probably a little worse, only because the owners have left it for quite some time. Yes. It's full of rat turd and all of it's directly under the kitchen. They use the insulation for nesting material. Oh, I kind of want to see, but I kind of don't. And again, this is where they're nesting. The next step is to uh, get some get some traps set and eventually uh, seal this house up. Peter has to go away and put his plan of attack together and figure out what needs to be done to get a grip on this rat situation. Because if it's a big situation for him, mm -hmm. that's alarming to me. Our rodent experts are back setting rat traps and installing rat barriers around the house. How's it been going? It's great. Like, no problems? Well, not so far. No rats? No. This is crazy. This is a rat-infested house, and I can't find one. And neither can our homeowners. We are sealing up all of the continuous soffit vents. Mm -hmm. We're doing the roof vents um, that go up into the attic. Work. There's the door to the garage. Yes, that's a huge, that's a huge gap. gap. For the bottom of the doors, we'll use um, solid aluminum. We're confident that the rats aren't getting back in. Wonderful. If they do, then we'll come back. 